Hi and welcome to Yum Paleo. My name is Andrew and today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun with fish. So what I've got here is um, three fairly large fillets of snapper and basically I'm aiming to cook this for around six people because these fillets are rather large um, so in terms of serving portions I'm going to cut them in half and feed around five to six people. So what we're going to do with this is something a little bit different. Um, we've got some ginger and we've got a little bit of, got a few limes, got three of those. And we're going to mix this with a little bit of oil and we're going to put this over the top as sort of a little bit of a topping uh, just before we start to grill it. And then what we're going to do, uh, it's going to just be very simple. This is kind of a, a really easy entertaining or sort of lunchtime dish kind of thing where you're out on the patio or out on the deck with friends and you're just serving up something really simple. So we're going to serve this on a bed of baby lettuce, uh, so they're cost leaves, so just the little baby ones. And we're going to do this with, this, um, put this together, a really yummy, uh, delicious sort of tropical fruity salad. So I've got some lettuce, I've got some cherry tomatoes, I have a capsicum, I've got some avocado, and I've got a little bit of pineapple that I'm going to throw in there as well. And I'm also going to toss in a little bit of red onion on top just to make it interesting. And of course, uh, no sort of tropical salad or sort of fish type dish is complete without a little bit of coriander. So it's just going to give it a little bit of sort of, in a, out of a, a little bit of an Asian twist. Okay, so first things first, what we've got, we've got our snapper here. Just sitting, I'm going to sit that to one side and I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with some limes and some ginger and just get all this into a bowl. So I've just started peeling this piece of ginger because I don't want the yucky skin bits uh, stuck in there but I really want to get some flavour out of it and fresh ginger is just such a really wonderful way of doing this but I guess in the absence of that you can use preserved ginger if you got really stuck. Um, though I prefer not to use the preserved stuff because of its sugar content. Um, so where possible, see if you can just go to your local um, grocer and, and, and pick up a nice fresh piece. So anyway, got that and I'm just going to grate that into uh, just a dessert bowl, just any kind of small round bowl. And the idea here is that we're just getting some of this yummy gingery goodness. Now we don't want to go too overboard with the ginger because it's a really um, overpowering flavour. Just going to slice that end off, set that to one side. Now before I start juicing uh, my lemon, uh, not lemons, my limes, I'm actually going to want to zest some of the skin on them. So I'm just going to, because you get such a really rich concentration of flavour from the zest and it just seems too good to waste so I'm going to grab some of that. It smells amazing when you're doing it as well which is always lots of fun. Now while we're doing this we're also preheating our oven and I've got that on grill and I've got it sitting on around 400 degrees Fahrenheit so that way by the time we've got all this ready to go, our oven is already preheated. So just a reminder, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or for those of you outside of the US, uh, it's 200 degrees Celsius. So we've got a good amount in there now. So now I'm just going to chop that up. And just grab that juice out of it too. Now we're going to take the zest and the juice of two limes. So a good amount of zest in there. And juice of that second lime. So I'm just going to mix that up a wee bit with a teaspoon and just mush up that softened um, grated ginger into that mixture. 
So from here I've got a tray and I've just popped a little bit of uh, tin foil onto that. The reason I've done it that way is that it just makes it easier for clean up. But I'm actually going to just cut these up um, before I put them on the tray so that way it's just easier when we go to serve. So I'm just going to place these fillets onto the tray before we put the ginger and lime on top. Just working out the best way to fit these on the tray. Okay, so from here we're just going to spoon some of the chunky bits onto the top and spread it out. So about a teaspoon on each. And then from here we're just going to pour the last of that juice over the top. Okay, so we're going to pop that into our preheated oven. that in there and we're going to come back to that in about uh, seven or eight minutes and just keep an eye on it and in the interim what we're going to do is have a little bit of a play round with this salad. We're going to start by chopping up the pineapple Also just going to boil the jug while I'm there, the kettle, because um, I want a little bit of boiling water just to take some of the stink off the red onion before we put that with the salad as well. So just going to take the skin off this. So the idea here is just to pre-assemble all of these components. Um, and then we're just going to assemble each salad on the plate and put the fish on top. So it's really quite straightforward. Just taking the core out because that's the hard crunchy bit you don't really want to eat. So that'll do me for the pineapple for now. So I just want to have a little go at this onion. So I'm just going to do half to start with. And I just want to slice it and then halve it. So we just got it into pieces. You don't want it diced. The idea here is we're just going to put that into a bowl, like so. And we're just going to pour a little bit of hot water over the top of it. And what that does is it just takes the worst of the stink, which is a really acidic part of the onion and just eat that, just blanch that just very slightly. And then the next thing we're going to do is just chop up capsicum and we're going to just de-seed it. And from there we're just going to finely slice it. It's great. We're going to grab a handful of fresh coriander, twist it, break it off, and we're just going to run the knife through that, and that's just going to help release some of that amazing flavour. Now this is the sort of dish that when you're doing it with a salad, um, you have a choice either just to have the salad plain, or you can do a paleo mayonnaise 
on top of this as well if you want uh, just that e extra little bit of um, mayo. Um, if you're looking for our mayonnaise recipe, have a look back through our recipe index at Yum Paleo and you'll find that it's really simple. It's a cup of oil, an egg, a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice, bomb bomb done. So really simple. Have a look through the index and uh, you'll be able to find it there. Let's have a wee look at this fish. That's close, but not quite there, so I'm just going to give it a little bit longer. And I'm just going to start to assemble my salad here. So, just a case of making a bit of a bed of lettuce. Like that. And a little bit of capsicum. A little bit of coriander, otherwise known as cilantro. Throw in a few tomatoes. Some pineapple. Okay, so let's have another wee look at that fish. That looks great. A little bit more coriander over the top, like so. And now it's just a really a case of making it look pretty. So there we have it. It's a really simple dish. Grilled snapper with lime and ginger on top. Just served with a really fresh uh, tro uh, Asian inspired uh, tropical salad. So really hope you enjoy that guys and girls and look forward to seeing you back here at Yum Paleo for another delicious recipe. See you next time.